Okay, here's a look at my Autobot collection by Magic Square as of January 25th, 2023. So here you can see all the figures together. And when you look at them all together, this set looks incredibly amazing. And really looking forward to getting the rest of the characters from season one and season two. So let's uh, take a look at them. Starting off first here with uh, Optimus Prime. This is uh, their 2.0 version. And you can see they did a, a really nice job on this to make it more cartoon accurate all the details like on the forearms, the thighs, the legs. Uh, they really improved the uh, previous version. Even the back with all the details. You can see it's all cartoon accurate. Um, which I know very well because I did make a costume of Optimus Prime a long time ago. And so I did uh, make sure to capture all of the details. So that's a look at Optimus Prime. And I didn't bring out his trailer, but his trailer is really amazing too. One of the few Optimus Prime that has a long trailer cab that's cartoon accurate, so that's really nice. So now let's take a look at uh, Bumblebee. And yeah, this Bumblebee, yeah, it's, it's okay. Um, fits in nice with this set, but um, the vehicle mode looks really, really bad. I mean, that face is okay. That smile is really nice. I mean, in robot mode, it looks, it looks good. But again, the vehicle mode is where it suffers, so I don't know if Magic Square is willing to redo this, but this is a figure I think that definitely needs a 2.0 upgrade. Then let's move on to Sideswipe. This is their 1.0 version with the white arms, the white waist, thighs, feet to be more cartoon accurate. That head is kind of not so good. Um, but their 2.0, they did sculpt the face to be more uh, defined but it's a little too dark. And my issue with this, or one of them, is the black windows. But to their credit, uh, this was one of their first releases. And so they did make their 2.0, which has the really nice uh, blue metallic windows. And I think this is their first figure that has this nice paint finish. Because if you see, it has like this nice glossy finish to it, which is really nice. But here's the issue. The proportions of this vehicle is too long. It's too long. These tires should be closer together. And the other big issue is this metallic version with the metallic dies. That makes no sense. At first I thought maybe this is a toy version. But no, the toy version has uh, chrome-plated feet and arms, but the legs are white plastic. So no excuse there. Just kind of disappointed with this metallic version. So that's why I'm keeping the 1.0 version in robot mode. Then let's move on to Skyfire here. Look at those details on the feet going all the way up. They did a really nice job on this. With some exceptions, those gray vents, there should only be three lines or three vents, but they put like seven or eight. So that kind of bugs me. Um, and the other thing is uh, this jet pack. I think they could have did a better job. It's a little dark, but more importantly, it's this shape, this, uh, angled shape. Should have kept it maybe angled. Back doesn't clean up so well, but I don't really look at the back. So this is really nice. 
and I actually think this is better than New Age. And that's not to say New Age is bad, because New Age Skyfire is really, really nice. It's just, I think this one just did a better job, particularly the uh, landing wheels, where it's working wheels and it's painted black. So really nice job. And then let's move on to Jazz here. This is an awesome figure. This is cartoon accurate details. Uh, that head, the head is okay, considering this is a really small legend scale figure. But look at this, this is really nice. The blue windows, um, really nice. And he does come with some nice accessories too that I didn't uh, bring out. But this is a really nice uh, figure. They do have that other version, which I don't like. It's based more on the toy with the gold rims. So you should know by you should know me already. I'm all about Hypertune aesthetic. Then let's see. Let's move on here to Prowl and Blue Streak. So these two guys, these figures are really amazing. There's Prowl, here's Blue Streak, and I gotta point out the differences here. Blue Streak was their first release, so I can be a little forgiving. I mean, uh, his hood there should not be black, it should be dark gray. And this is bad, this ugly saturated blue painted windows, which I really don't like. So I'm hoping they will reissue this to be more cartoon accurate and do a good job like they did with this Prowl. This is one of my favorites. I mean, look at that head sculpt. Look at the transparent blue windows, the details, all cartoon accurate, that nice blue, light blue for the windows, the transparent red for the sirens. This is uh, really nice. Like I said, one of my favorites. So that's a look at Prowl and Blue Streak. Now let's take a look at Ratchet and Ironhide. So let's get one charger back up here. Um, these two figures, these are really nice. They look um, a lot they look like they stepped out of the cartoon, in my opinion. I mean, look at uh, how nicely sculpted the heads are, the blue uh, windows, all the details, even like Ironhide's hip there with that triangle. Very simple legs to be cartoon accurate. So you can see they did a really nice job on this. And the back. It, all things considered, I think they did a good job cleaning it up. The only issue is when you transform it to the alt mode, the van, the tabbing in, the uh, flaps that form the back of the windows, they don't uh, tab in so good. They, they kind of get pushed in. So that's uh, the issue with that. But these two figures are awesome. And these two, look much better than New Age and New Age um, Upcoming 2.0. So I just want to share that. And then let's uh, come down here to the other mini bots. So let's start with the uh, Huffer. This is their 2.0 version with the nice blue thighs there and the retooled head to be more cartoon accurate. Um, this is a really nice figure, with the exception of the vehicle mode, because um, I'm not going to transform it, but in vehicle mode he has this big orange flap here that makes no sense, and he's missing these points on the end of the uh, <coughs> truck mode, so that's the only issue I have with that, but looks really nice. And these two, these are two amazing figures, gears and 
wind charger. I hope the other figures that they make, they're going to make it just as nice. Um, these two figures, <laughs> they're really, really nice. That's all I'll say. Um, and so hopefully they will make uh, the Sunstreaker and Wheeljack and Brawn just as nice as these two figures. And let's see, the last mini bot for season one is Cliff Jumper. And this one, yeah, this needs another upgrade, 2.0 upgrade. I mean, I should not have to paint his forearms gray to be cartoon accurate because they are red, which is not cartoon accurate. And this head, I think they could do a better job on the sculpt. New Age is smaller and they did a really nice job on the head sculpt. And that grill right there should be red, not uh, silver. So I think this needs an upgrade. And then these two, Hound and Mirage, these are two more really awesome figures. I really like these. Um, these are many masterpieces in my opinion. So Hound, I mean, look at right down to the feet, the legs, all the detail, very cartoon accurate. This is a great figure. And I like that transparent blue for the window. It's a nice touch there. So this is really great. Mini masterpiece. And uh, Mirage, same thing. All the details. The inner part of the foot is gray, not blue, like fans' toys. Uh, this is really great. great. They even captured that light blue gray for the chest. The back cleans up really nice as well. And in my opinion, I think this is better than Fans Toys and Transform Element. It's just a legend scale, so it's like a mini masterpiece. So that's that. And then their Trail Breaker, this is their 2.0, their X version. So they fixed it so he has a better blue metallic window, and his face is now dark gray instead of light gray um, but some issues this piece right here it should be more to his left shoulder um, and he should be like a dark gray not a black color um, sculpt here is not all that accurate but for legend scale this is really nice and it does clean up really nice also um, but uh, the Takata masterpiece, definitely more cartoon accurate. But for legend scale, this does fit in really nice. So that's a look at that. So this is uh, what I have so far for season one. And like I said, missing a uh, Wheeljack, Sunstreaker, and Brawn, along with the Dinobots that they did not give a silhouette hint of but hopefully they will make the Dinobots. Okay, so now let's move on to season two. Oh man, some figures are nice, but they definitely have some issues here. So let's see, where do I start here? So let's start maybe with um, Cosmos. Like, you can see right away, Cosmos is just way too big next to Blaster and Perceptor. But the other issues with it for me are the um, colors. <laughs> and that's another issue, the head right there. It just um, doesn't really stay put up here. And it's kind of hard getting this out. So this is uh, like an issue, one issue with this figure right here, the head. But for me, the issue is what's with all this orange? That's not cartoon accurate. He should be yellow like here, here in his face. 
Um, but other than that, um, it is a really nicely sculpted figure. And here's the other issue. He has trouble standing and that's unfortunate because it's on a pin so you can't really tighten this so he has a tendency to fall back um, but yeah that's uh their cosmos and I want to point out <clears throat> new ages version definitely much better I'm actually still considering swapping this out Look at the yellow here. The green looks more cartoon accurate. He fits in better scale-wise with Blaster and Perceptor. So, yeah, just pointing that out. So that's Cosmos. And then, let's see. Let's go over Beachcomber and Sea Spray. Again, to their to be forgiving, this is one of their earlier releases, so, you know, this isn't quite cartoon accurate. And if you could see uh, Sea Spray, I had to put a white sticker there to cover up some details to make it more cartoon accurate. Um, so, pointing out again, next to, uh, let's see if I can get this to stay here, next to uh, New Age. Here's New Age version. This is really a great beachcomber. And so, I don't know, here's another figure that I'm thinking I should maybe swap out. But, you know, this is what we have. I wanna stay consistent. But just pointing out the New Age beachcomber is definitely better. I mean, this is okay, but this is better in terms of uh, cartoon aesthetics. So that's a look at Beachcomber and then just Sea Spray. I think it looks nice also. So now, as far as Season 2 Minibots, we're missing Power Glide and Warpath. So really looking forward to that. And now the other issue I was telling you, just look at it. You can see it right there. Everyone already knows this and has already pointed it out. Blaster is just too small um, and don't know if they're going to redo it to be taller, but this is the issue right now. Both of these figures are really, really nice though. The engineering design, the transformation, these are really, really nice figures. It's just Perceptor is a little bit too big because next to Inferno, he should be a little bit smaller, like in that episode, um, Child's Play. And he obviously should be shorter than Blaster, which, yeah, this is another great figure. It's just too small. So speaking of which, that is why I got the um, Mick Fans Toys version of um, Blaster. See if I can get them both in frame here. And now, you know, it's a nice figure. It is much bigger, but this also doesn't work because when you put him next to Optimus Prime, the scale is off. Blaster is too big. Oh, so yeah, we definitely need a, a new blaster. Um, just to be a little bit bigger, maybe the same size as their Optimus. So that's that. And then, moving on here, now we have the uh, Hoist, Red Alert, Grapple, and Inferno. So let's first start with uh, Inferno, because this is a nice figure. I like how they retooled it, so the car doors are on his arms. To be very cartoon accurate and the window well it should be like a gray not a black but overall I think this is really nice nice head sculpt also um, it's just the same issue with sideswipe when you transform it to vehicle mode it's a little too long 
right here. I could see how it's kind of hard to fix that because if they shorten this to make the car more proportionate, then his legs would be <laughs> a little bit too short. So yeah, that's just the way they designed it. But this is a great figure. And hoist. This is another nicely sculpted figure. Just missing some paint on the top of the foot there to be cartoon accurate. But yeah, I think this is a great figure. Really nice. So that's a look at hoist. Now, oh man, I don't even know where to begin and keep this simple, but there's this is their 2.0 metallic version. So first they did improve the window so it's blues, it's cartoon accurate. And you could see the gray thighs are more cartoon accurate instead of the black. And the wheels have the colored rims. It's just they they ruined it with all this metallic. It should be white, should be white, should be white. The holes here should be white. The ladder should be white. Why, oh why did they do this? Um, so I'm just really disappointed with that. Just like the dude with the side swipe. So, you know, here's their first version. They could have easily just painted that white, you know, and then just made that dark gray instead of black, painted the uh, rims you know to be cartoon accurate the holes is white oh so really frustrating um but yeah that's what we have and just to point it out here's new age version <laughs> which yeah this is really a nice figure this one's more cartoon accurate um right down to these uh, support um support things for the vehicle that this is missing it's just uh the window here is a little bit too light and look at even the head is more accurate to the cartoon than this one ah so as nice as a lot of magic square figures are some of them they do have issues like i already just pointed out here but when you put them all together, these figures, um, they look really nice together. And so really looking forward to getting the rest of the characters. And like I said, he has trouble standing because of those pins and his head keeps going in because they didn't really find a way to lock this in place. So that's uh, unfortunate. But yeah, that's what we have for season two. And we're missing Power Glide, Warpath, Tracks, Skids, and Smokescreen. And I think the reason why Smokescreen is not being made as a repaint is because they don't know how to get the tires on top of the shoulders. Because if you play around with those two, you can't put the tires on top of his uh, shoulders. So I think they need to figure out how to do smoke screen. But here's what we have. Missing the aerial bots, Omega Supreme, and uh, the Protecto bots. So I am getting the both versions of Omega. I think Pengu. That one's um, like a mini size version of uh, DX9's version of Omega Supreme. And I am getting the New Age, which looks awesome. But that goes with my New Age collection. And then we just have to wait for the Aerial Bots and Protecto Bots. So speaking of which, I can actually use <laughs> the mini um, aerial bots by Zeta. This is their first version, not their metallic version. 
I'm really getting annoyed by this whole metallic stuff because it's taking away from the cartoon accuracy. So here you can see when you bring these guys up, they look nice together, but this set uh, definitely has issues also. The tabbing system does not work so well with this set. Um, and we pointed out um, because once you get them in they just kind of slide right off so now I can see why Magic Square their gummy plastic and the hard tabbing in works really well because when you do it with these uh, aerial bots um, when you transform them they don't tab in because they just slide in and out but here's just a quick look at them and this does look nice, but I think this set goes better with the New Age because uh, when you put Silverbolt next to Optimus, um, Silverbolt was actually a little bit bigger than Optimus. So just a little minor detail there, but I think this set goes good with the New Age and along with the plastic consistent let's see with the die cast and stuff like that so that's a look at what I have let's get these guys out so as of January 25th 2023 this is my collection of the Autobots really nice really looking forward to getting the rest of them so that's my Autobot collection by Magic Square.